Hey everyone, and this time we're doing another statue review. And this one was a bit of a surprise, at least to me. Um, I didn't know it had even existed up until a little while ago. This is called the Millennial Gaia. And this was done by the uh, artist who created it is Oberon Zell. Um, and I guess he's a well-known kind of mystical, you know, type of figure. In any case, you know, Gaia is Mother Earth. Um, in the Greek mythology, she's also like the mother of, you know, some of the other Greek gods and mythology. But, you know, basically it's Mother Earth and other cultures and everything have different names. Um, so I'll show you the full statue here. It's, it's a larger piece. And this actually comes in three different sizes. So this is like the mid-size one. I think there's a bigger one and then there's like a smaller one. This one is like the 14 inch version. And so you can see in her hair, she has all these cool sculpture of uh, the designs of the different animals. And so this is actually, and I'll put up, maybe I'll kind of see if I can go here. I'll put up some of the pictures of what this was, what this means. So the hair and all these animals starting at the base kind of at the back of her hair going up is sort of the evolution of life on land. And so you can see at the top, there's the human and whales. And then at the bottom was like, way down like millions of years ago, you know, you had dinosaurs and things. And then the hair strands itself is supposed to represent DNA double helix. So that's really cool. And then you kind of scroll around here on her arms, she's got like a giant redwood. So that's supposed to be the redwood forest and tree and then on her legs and her bottom, these are the evolution of life in the seas. And so I'll try to put a, the, uh, the chart of that too. So starting at, you know, like pre-Cambrian, you know, hundreds of million years ago, you had like amoebas and bacterias and kind of going forward. And she's sitting in this cross-legged pose. Um, you know, she's looks like she's pregnant. She has the earth as her, her belly. And then on the website, there was, actually came with a pamphlet that kind of talked about this. So on one breast, she has the cornucopia of like food and vegetables. And then the other one is, is supposed to be the moon. And then she's even got like a little hurricane swirl there. Um, and then on this arm, she has more of like a tropical rainforest tree. And then lastly, in her hair, she actually has from the, uh, the Celtic... Um, like zodiac calendar, different leaves of the trees. So, and I could put a link in, or not the link, but just like a picture of those trees. And then just another note is that on one hand, she has the luna moth, so that's like night. And then here she's got a butterfly, so that's like day. And one is like more of a copper, and then the, the luna moth is more of a silver. And I like the way they kind of did the black wash over the leaves, it really makes it stand out. And I was thinking about adding some more color to the face, um, but I think it looks good the way it is. Um, I was thinking maybe some to the eyebrows. Um, and I think they did use the face, they like, based it off a real person and then different body parts. So just really cool. There's some other little hidden things like they have like a scarab beetle and some of the other like insects from different cultures that meant things. So we'll do one more 360, but she's all this green, really nice green color with a different green wash. You can see a cool like manta ray, dolphins. Again, really cool, this tree of life on the back and that copper kind of bronze look really accentuates these different animals. So there you go. There is a look, quick look at the Millennial Gaia statue uh, from Oberon Zell. And thanks for watching.